Every day, thousands of health service employees live our values of care, compassion, trust and learning. Sometimes this is visible and sometimes it's not. We've gone a step further and translated our values into specific behaviours. We call it Values in Action. Our behaviours can have more impact than words and behaviour spread because humans copy what we see others doing. The Values in Action project is working to spread a culture in our health service that reflects our values. Many of us are doing this already. We want more to join in. Nine behaviours were identified that bring our values to life. These behaviours were tested with staff from University of Limerick Hospital Group, CHO Area 3 and patients and service users in the Midwest. The behaviours reflect three dimensions us as individuals, how we interact with colleagues, and how we treat patients and service users. Seeing things from other perspectives and understanding other people's role or situation is key to being able to work effectively together. Can you see where the other person is coming from? Would you react in the same way if you were in a similar situation? We all have a role to play in the care of our patients and service users. Patients never forget how we make them feel. Are you aware that patients watch us, listen to us as we go about our work? How patients and service users feel about their interactions with staff can often be their most lasting memory. When patients and service users see staff engaging with each other in a positive, respectful way, this can help reduce their anxiety. We all experience stress in our working lives. It's important to recognise when you're under too much stress, as it can have an impact on your health and well-being. This behaviour is about self-reflection, checking in with ourselves to see if we're dealing with stress appropriately. By doing this, we become aware of how we're managing at work and may result in us taking actions such as talking to a colleague, asking for help, support, looking at ways to relieve stress. Be supportive of colleagues. Tell colleagues when they're doing a great job. Say thanks. Use opportunities like team meetings to share examples of good work in the team or to mark success. Don't be judgmental. A blame culture has no place here. We're all here to make the experience better for our patients and service users. Offer a colleague who's under pressure time to listen, some advice or a helping hand. Simple but thoughtful acts that demonstrate that we care and look out for each other. The offer of help or sharing knowledge is another way we can offer help. Trust each other to do the right thing. We're all working toward the same goal, improved patient care. Negativity, defeatism and cynicism about a person, a team or the HSC as a whole shouldn't be accepted. While we know some services need improvements and we'd all like to make things better, it doesn't mean that everything about the health service is wrong or bad. Everyone who uses and works in the health service deserves to be treated with respect. Some patients, when we meet them, can feel vulnerable anxious and unsure of what's happening. The first few seconds of interaction sets the tone of the whole interaction. Introducing yourself, making eye contact, smiling and turning towards the patient is so important. Make the patient feel as if they're unique, the only one. Patients can feel vulnerable when using our services. Giving information on what we're doing now and what the next steps will be reduces uncertainty for them. Use language that they will understand. Invite the patient or service user to ask questions. Where possible, try to provide a dignified, safe space to explain what's happening. Very often, the small, unexpected, extra thing creates an enormous sense of caring. It makes others feel that they are important to you, that they are valued and cared for. 
Small acts of kindness build trust and respect for staff and show us all in the best possible light. Recognising when a patient is vulnerable and doing something thoughtful can have a huge impact. Through behaviours, we can create an environment where people can see and feel our values in action. Importantly, people can copy them, shaping new norms and a culture that we can all be proud of. Adopting these behaviours will improve the experience of those who use the health service, as well as making it a better workplace for all of us. Thank you.